Hey, buddy Wyatt, how are you doing? Hey, Scott. Uh, the name I keep hearing is Step Up. I'm really impressed with the progress that Khalid has made uh, from his first year to this year. As you know, you know, he came in here as a linebacker. Uh, we moved to defensive end uh, last year. And he has steadily improved uh, at the position. Uh, Khalid is a student of the game uh, as far as wanting to be a really good defensive end. Uh, so he, he wants to be really good. Uh, and he has really worked hard at it. He a lot with uh, Wyatt uh, over the over the break. Um, they really kind of become really pretty close, <laughs> and, and and they they've kind of uh, fed off of one another as far as growing. So, but he has uh, this four or five practices, man, uh, impressive. Uh, you know, when there's things which he's still learning. Um, but man, I, I'm I'm pleased with what I've seen. I guess when you look from Duke, when you look on paper, obviously Bronson's the senior. Khalid making things pretty interesting at that other uh, defensive defense spot. We have a lot of competition uh, going on. Uh, you know, we got a couple of new guys that have come in, uh, transfers in here uh, uh, that uh, also uh, trying to make a push and 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 trying to be seen. And uh, so you know, competition. That's as a coach, that's what I like. I like a lot of competition that makes everybody work hard, that makes everybody up the game. Kellis. Hey, Coach Wyatt, how has uh, Wyatt Hubert improved since the uh, you know last time you saw him last season? I really do think that you know Wyatt has uh, really worked hard at, at understanding our our defensive system. System completely, uh, not just what we're supposed to do at defensive end, but what the linebackers are supposed to do, what the corners are supposed to do, um, you know, what the defensive tackles are doing. I think his knowledge of our our, our scheme has he has really started to master that. Uh, and and you know, I always tell the kids, uh, knowledge is power, and the more you know, the better you be become. And and I think he's taking that to to heart. Uh, he's a very talented young man. Uh, but he just don't he don't rest on his laurels. He 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 takes really good notes in meetings. Uh, I mean, he is always wanting to learn. Uh, he's asked good questions. So so I think his knowledge of the game has really improved. I also wanted to ask um, some players earlier this week said it had been at least somewhat difficult to focus every day, not knowing whether there was going to be a season or not. Did the Big Twelve say that they're going to at least try to make? things go this all uh, make it easier on them the rest of the week I think it definitely uh, put some of the the, the players ease mentally uh, you know knowing you know you know the, the, not knowing is the biggest issue with everybody pandemic you know not knowing uh, what's going to be happening one day to the next uh, so I do think uh, by the big 12 have, uh, we're going to try to make this a go. Uh, we're excited. I mean, you could see when they when we had the that we had the next uh, the next practice that we had, um, you know, that uh, they're practicing for a reason. Um, there will be football at some point in time, and you have to be ready to be at your best no matter what. You know, we preach to them pro and now that's getting better crap go in and john kurtz go ahead derek coach i have a couple but uh do you got as a coaching staff to remind the players often probably every day at the measures they have to take when they're they can you know avoid an out remind them Every chance, every opportunity we get, we remind them uh, that if we want to have a season this year, you ha have to follow the procedures that the health department has put into place, that Matt Thompson, Thompson, Thompson and his staff have put together. 
um, Dr. Coral, all, I mean, we have a really good medical staff that have worked really hard to try to put us in the best position to play, uh, to play a season. And we, and we tell our kids, I mean, almost every time we meet with them, not almost every time we meet with them, we'll tell them that, hey, you got to make sure you're doing the things that are going to allow us to have a season. And so, yes, I mean, it, it, it's not daily. It's, <laughs> it's every time we meet. Another player you guys added one of the transfers he talked about is Kiamari Gainis. And uh, he hasn't been talked about yet. Is he still chasing in the kind of – yeah, Kamari, Kamari, um, uh, he was down, he, he, he misses. So the uh, evaluation of Kamari is just now really getting underway. Um, I saw some really good things from him yesterday, but he's a little bit behind, uh, you know, not necessarily mentally. I think he's a sharp, he, he's been really sharp. I think just uh, taking his, uh, his condition, and that is what uh, he's really concentrating. But um, I, I still think that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see uh, what he has to offer. I'm excited about it, though. I really am. I really am. All right, last one, John Kurtz. Yeah, hey, buddy. Who has impressed you the most out of, out of that group of new newcomers that you uh, – To be honest with you, it's is Felix, Felix, uh, and in, uh, and in, uh, I'm always miss, and uh, he is really that young man. Uh, for uh, he's shown some stinks uh, of playing the position and rushing the quarterback that that uh, you know I haven't seen in a lot of true freshmen. The lead. What, what do you see as the ceiling for him other than his career is done here? I think Khalid has a huge ceiling. I think he could be um, or one of the best uh, defensive ends in the conference if, if he continues uh, week in and week out. Uh, he stays committed to trying to be the best. I think he has a chance to be uh, really special.